Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Press and Generates Blocks. In this video, I'm going to do a walkthrough of the Geek template in our site library module. Let's get started. So Geek is a very simple block template that's built with Generates Blocks with a several block elements. We will go through them one by one. The first element we have is for this section here, which has the page title plus a filter for your categories. And that would be the archives block category filter block page hero. Let's open up the block navigation and we start off with a container that holds all the content of this page hero. Then we have a second container which holds a headline block and a dynamic content block. The headline block is a dynamic text used for title and GP dynamic content is for term description, so for category descriptions. You can see them if you go to a category archive. And then we have a second container which holds a categories block from WordPress core. You can see that the appearance is a little different because we're using CSS to make it look like this. I'll go through that later in the video. The colors of this page hero is set in the parent container. So for background color, we are using contrast 2, which is set in the customizer global colors. And links, we're using accent. Let's move on to the next element. So the next element we have is a content template that displays your blog posts. That will be the block cards template. Let's open up the block navigation again. As always, we have a container that wraps around the entire content. The colors of this element is also set within the parent container using global colors. So for background color, we're using base three, link color, also base three, and link color hover, we're using accent. Next, we have a grid block that's holding two 50-50 containers. The first container is using the dynamic background image with the feature image of the post. It also has top and left border added in the spacing options. The colors are set using global colors again. Inside the container, we have a buttons block and it's used to list the categories and link them to the category archives. So you can click on this and it will take you to the category archive. Inside the second container, we have a headline block which is used to display the title of the post. Then we have a GP dynamic content block that's used to display the post excerpt and it's using the theme read more link. This block content template is used in the blog page and all archives. Next, let's go into a single post 
and take a look at our single post page hero. So that would be single post page hero block page hero. In this page hero, we are disabling the default title, feature image, and primary post meta that's coming from the theme as we're adding them using the dynamic options from generates blocks. Let's open up the block navigation. So again, we have our parent container that's using the feature image as the dynamic background image. Then we're using accent from global colors to apply a background overlay to the feature image. Background overlay is applied here. Moving on, we have a buttons block that's displaying the list of categories, just like the content template. Then we have the next container that's holding the inline post meta items. So the first item is the author image, author avatar. Then we have a headline block that's showing the post author name and links to the author archives. Then we have a post date. Lastly, we have the comment. Next, we have our last container that's just holding an H1 headline block that's displaying the post title. This element is used in all single posts. The last element we have here is the footer element. Let's open up the block navigation and take a quick look of the structure. So we have a parent container again that's holding everything. Then we have a second container. It's holding this part with a grid block and three containers in it. Then we have another grid block with two containers in it. The current year is just using the template tag to display the current year, which will show dynamically. And the rest of the content is all static. And that's the four elements used in this site. Let's take a look at the CSS. The first block of CSS here is to set the post content in alternating fashion. So you see the feature image on the left, right, left, right. The second block here is to remove the border on the last category links. So this is a border on the culture link in general. An idea is removed with this CSS. Then we have this section to style the category filters. Super minimal CSS here. And lastly, I just want to show you how we can use global colors to change the appearance of the entire site very quickly. Let's try to switch the dark and light background here. So first, we will change the contrast color to just white. Then contrast two, we will go with a beige color, orange-ish. 
the next three can stay as they are and we will change base three to be a dark color. Lastly, maybe a deep blue for the accent color. This is the benefit of setting everything using global colors in generates blocks. We can switch the appearance and colors of the site very quickly. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.